Today we are making egusi soup. Now for my egusi soup, I've got egusi seed, palm oil, goat meat and the stock, tomatoes, pepper, onions, shrimps here, salt, iru, low cost bean, any other thing I'll be using, I'll let you know. And Bilura has chosen to eat it with eba. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to start by blending the egusi, tomatoes, pepper and onions. All right, so egusi has to be blended very smooth. Yeah, so this is smooth now and we start cooking. So I'm just going to add palm oil into my pot. So I'm going to take a little bit of salt and season the oil. All right, so next will be my onions and then the locust beans, the iru will go in. You can be generous with it. Um, iru is very nutritious, it's good for your eyes. Uh, uh, it's fermented, so it's good for your guts as well, your stomach. Now this particular egusi style, like I said, egusi is different. This particular style, you have to fry the bitter leaf first before adding the egusi. Now there are other styles where you cook the egusi completely before sprinkling the bitter leaf. Now these two styles have different distinct tastes. This is another style I think you should try. You can stir that while I clean my hands. Fantastic. Yeah. I'll just pour the egusi. All right, so we're going to I will allow it to cook for a while, about um, seven minutes, five to seven minutes before I stir and um, before we add the other things. Now this looks very, very good. Very good. I'm going to stir on it. Now egusi and bitter leaf are like the prettiest pair ever. See the little tiny bitter leaf dots, very beautiful. So, but you can use other vegetables for egusi soup. It must not be bitter leaf. If you really want that beautiful look, bitter leaf always comes out nice. I'm going to be adding my what do you call it? Crevetka. These are shrimps, yeah. These are shrimps, clean shrimps. So, um, to this one, I'll be adding pieces of stockfish. So it's actually the people from the eastern part of Nigeria that like using it a lot in their food. But everybody can use it really. But the eastern people, the Igbo people, they like to use a lot of stockfish in their food. To this now I'll be adding goat meat and the goat meat stock. Alright, so we are going to cover that to cook now. And just before it finished uh, finish cooking, I'll garnish it with the uziza leaf. So right now I'm going to pluck the uziza leaf and chop it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just a fistful is fine. To just bring out that punch, the aroma, and add some taste to it. Stay on this. Yeah. Then put it on low to just simmer for a bit while we boil water for our eba. So I'll just cover it. Alright guys, who don't know, but I want to make a bath for Bulura to eat this uh, egusi soup. This is so good. So good. Like, excellently good. good. You should mm. try this recipe mm. for your goosey next time. Mm. Fry your bitter leaf before pouring your goosey. Like, it's so mm. good. So, so good. This is yummy. Çok tatlıdır. Hakikaten de çok tatlıdır. So good. Excellent taste. Bilura, what do you think about this goosey? This is delicious. Gina. So yummy. Yeah. Like, so tatlı. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. And it goes well with the eba. But this egg is so yummy that. <laughs> that what? <laughs> if you like this video, please give me a thumb up, share, and comment. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do click on the subscribe button and notification bell to enjoy more of my recipes.